All right, guys, we are probably getting pretty close to our first full trailer load here, and we're about maybe not quite halfway done with the field. I'd say probably about 45% done. So this may max out the capacity of the trailer. I'm not sure how heavy sorghum is, though. Uh, yeah, that did max it out because we still have 54% left in the combine. Okay, so we're going to actually do a couple of things here. Um, I'm going to, I was going to try out the GPS mod. I was going to actually do that before we started, but I forgot to. So I'm going to drive over to the shop and we're going to install that. And then we'll try it uh, for the rest of the field. And actually, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and get our, uh, get a worker in our truck and have that uh, just go across the way to the farm. Set destination. Um, I want to top the chickens off, so why don't you just stage right there while we're getting this GPS thing set up. Okay. Um, yeah, so the GPS mod, um, it's actually called guidance steering, but uh, it's also referred to as the GPS mod. And basically what it does is it uses... Um, you know, GPS technology to help you, uh, you know, work straight, straighter lines in the field. So I've seen, I've seen other YouTubers, you know, use it. I did even watch a tutorial on it a while back, but I can't remember all the details. So we're just going to uh, give it a try. And if I can't figure it out, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll read up on it some more watching another tutorial. But, uh, you know, the, the uh, concept is pretty simple. It's just uses GPS and uh, guides you so you have straight lines. But this, the details of it, I'm not sure exactly what that's all about. So let's head on over here to the shop since it's just right here. Um, oh, you know what? Something just occurred to me. I might not have enough money to get this. Well, let's see how much it costs. So we want to go to Customize. And uh, GPS, okay. So that's going to cost us fifteen thousand dollars, but we buy it once, and then I think it's available to us all the time, if I understand this correctly. Um, crap! In order to do that, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to borrow some more money. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's just do it. I mean, it's not a big deal. We're we're gonna. We're probably all 15,000 more. Well, what the heck? Let's just bring it up to an even 200,000. Um, okay. Uh, so now if we go to customize and we buy the GPS and we click customize. Configuration has been changed. Uh, okay. So now... Uh, now we have the GPS mod. Get this back up. Okay, cool. So we'll get the combine out to the field, and then we're going to go uh, drop off our grain. And then we'll try this thing out. All right. Uh, so we currently have 27.9 thousand liters. So I guess sorghum is pretty heavy because the trailer is actually only 53% full. So as mentioned, we will top the chickens off. And that should keep the chickens well fed for several months before we have to worry about them again. I didn't quite get it over far enough. There we go. Okay. Uh, 
Um, all right, so if we look at our chickens, they have maximum food. Very good. Okay. And then the rest, of course, is going to go right on into our grain mill to make sorghum flour. In real life, I'm betting sorghum flour is probably kind of reddish looking. But in this game, um, it doesn't matter what grain you use to make the flour. Once it's flour, it's just flour. That's just the way it works. So wheat, oats, barley, sorghum, doesn't matter. It's all just flour. Okay. Very nice. Just out of curiosity, uh, when is a good time to sell sorghum? Not that I'm planning on doing that, but it uh, looks like December, January is the best time. And let's see, we're in August, so yeah, this would be the worst time to sell it. Not that we're going to, like I said, but I'm just curious more than anything. Okay, so let's go to sorghum flour and activate. We have 24,000 liters, and we're going to probably pull another twenty-five to 30,000 off the field. And even with that, man, that still isn't going to last very long, but it'll definitely give us a nice um, supply of flour. Uh, and that'll keep the bakery going for quite some time. I'd like the, um, you know, I'd like to have extra flour so we can maybe even sell some of the flour itself. But uh, like I said, we're gonna, excuse me, we're gonna probably need quite a few more large grain fields before we'll be able to support that. So one step at a time, man. Okay, so let's get the truck backstaged more or less in the middle of the field. Right about more or less where it was, I think. That's probably pretty close. Okay, let's hop back in the combine. Now, if we go here. Um, let's go here for a second. And scroll down towards the bottom to see what we need to do to initiate. Okay, that's auto load. Automatic bale collection mode. Ooh. That's interesting. I was wondering if this could do that, and I was going to check. We could actually have the man follow behind the baler which is following behind us with this on and it would pick up the bales automatically Ooh, man we got it. we might need to try that you guys that could be cool uh anyway all right so here's all the the gps stuff so toggle guidance steering is alt c show guidance steering menu control s set guidance point auto width oh man that's a lot of stuff <laughs> good grief okay here let me do something here i'm going to take a screenshot of this No, oh, that's not probably not going to let me do that, is it? Um, yeah, it's not going to let me take a screenshot this way. Okay, um, I don't have my phone handy at the moment. This could take a photo. All right, well, here, let's just um, let's do Control S first of all. Control S to show the menu. That's not doing anything. Do I have to have this turned on? Control S, not doing anything at all. Okay. What about Alt C? Alt C. That's not doing anything. Oh no, it is. Okay, in the in the lower right hand corner. Um Okay, hold on a sec. So, control S. Oh, there we go. Okay. Why wasn't that popping up before? Maybe you have to enable it first. So, yeah, look down by my speedometer in the lower right-hand corner, and you'll see, like, a new little section. When I press control C, 
it enables it. And then if I do, uh, or no, I'm sorry, Alt-C. And then if I do Control-S, it brings up this menu. Okay, so let's see if we can figure this out. Enable guidance steering, snap terrain angle. Snap the direction to the terrain angle. I don't know what that means. Offset reversal. Automatically invert the offset on a turn. I don't know what that means. Headland management, headland act distance, lines, turn on, line offset. I don't think we want an offset, offset do we? Um, okay. Line offset. Show as dots. Render the lines with dots when turn off. Normal lines are displayed. Okay. Um, width increment. Set the width increment to increase, decrease the width. Auto width. Offset increment. Invert offset. What does this do? Line strategy. Determine which strategy you use to create the guidance lines. A, B, straight. That's all that it's letting me do. Uh, line method. A plus B. Determine which... Or A plus heading. A plus direction. Save track to farm. Oh, cool. So you can save these patterns. Please create or load a track first. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to spend a million years trying to figure this out. I'll go watch the tutorial if I can't figure it out pretty quickly here. Um, all right, so we're just going to call this, uh, what is this? This is field 70, or 57, I think. So we're just going to call this 57. Uh, save track to farm, sure. Line method is A, B, straight, set A. Oh, okay, there's an A right there. Do we have to go... Oh, look at that. Okay, so... So I guess we have to go to the other end to set B? Like I said, I did watch a tutorial on this, but it's been... It was a long time ago, and I didn't, you know, obviously hadn't used it since then. We don't want to drive over our crop because we'll damage it. Okay, so B is... Gonna be... Maybe right about here? I think I'm too far over. I can't, wait, what happened to the line? I don't see the line anymore. Oh, there it is. Okay. That looks pretty straight there. Okay, so uh, Control S set B. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, look at that. So it, it creates that little lane thingy. All right. So let's go back to where we left off. Am I supposed to be... I'm supposed to be in the middle of this, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay, so it creates like a lane for me to stay inside of. I'll, I'll watch a tutorial on this again. Um, just so I, I know exactly what to do the net for the next time. But I just wanted to try it and see if we could kind of figure it out. Okay, so let's turn this way. And you know what we might need to do, though?
Okay, here's um, here's what I'm going to do. Let's back up to the edge of the field here. Well, actually, no. Here's what we should do. We should start here. So we're going to have to move the truck out of the way. Okay. So let's stay within this lane so we can shave off just this little bit here. And that way, you know, then, then we're like nice and even. Yeah, definitely. Definitely makes it easier to do this. I wonder what that um, third icon is that kind of shows like the steering wheel with the slash thingy through it. Um, in the lower right, towards the lower right hand corner. Okay, nice. So, any trains coming? No, it looks like we're good. Okay, so now we flip over to this lane. Oh! I hit the wrong button there. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can't see it in first person. Interesting. Only third person. Oh, <laughs> I already screwed it up. All right, let's back up a little bit here. You know where this is really actually gonna come in handy is when I'm plowing you know, expanding the field and plowing the edge. Because uh, then we can follow this and have a really nice straight line. I'm going to miss that little bunch there. I wonder if... Uh, can we... Offset the line for more ground clearance. Oh, is that raise it up in the air? Let, oh, let the GPS guide the steering. Oh! So if I turn that on, does it just do it automatically? Look at that! Hands free, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> That's crazy! Oh, and the, the line turned green now, too, which I guess means... Oh, wow, that is nuts! I, I mean, I, I kind of knew I guess it could do this, but... I don't know that I would use this all the time, though, because... I mean, you know, it kind of takes the fun out of driving a combine, because I'm not <laughs> driving it, it's just doing its own thing. Will it actually turn around, too? Let's see what it does. No, it... Looks like it'll just keep going. Okay, so I gotta 
turn it. Oh, okay. So it looks like when I when I hit the um, or when I start to steer it, it, dis it disables it, kind of like a cruise control thing. All right. There's probably a uh, a keyboard shortcut for that too. So is it just Alt C? Auto width steering guidance. Oh, it's probably maybe it's Alt X. Shift track, realign track, toggle line display, rotate track. Um, it's probably Alt C, right? Oh no, that turns the whole thing off. Okay. Show guidance steering means set guidance point. So we can do that with Alt E. Auto width steering guidance. Is that Alt X? Yeah, it's all decks. Okay. Look at that. So yeah, man, when we um when we're when we're going to expand the field and I and I want to get that really nice straight edge, this is going to really come in handy for that for sure. This is also I mean, you could almost do a little bit of an AFK with this if you had to. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, it doesn't stop. Crap, we just damaged some crop. It doesn't stop when the combine's full, so. <laughs> okay, let's turn that off from Alt-X. Yeah, I, I like this, man. It's really cool. Uh, again, I'm not so sure I'm going to use it all of the time. Um, but... Definitely for things like creating new fields, um, I will. I'll definitely put it to use for that. And you know, if I have to like go to the bathroom or something, and I and I'm driving the combine, I could let it keep going. But I guess not really though, because it doesn't turn around at the headland unless there's a way to get it to do that. Maybe there is, and it doesn't stop. You know, if it if it's if it's full. So in our case, that's not good because we damaged the crop. But it's still really cool. I like it. I think I would almost prefer to to use it, you know, use the lines, but I'll still do the steering because otherwise, you know, then I'm not driving it at all, and then that kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit, as accurate as as it would be, you know. Very cool. All right. Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to continue on here, and uh, I will bring you back probably towards the end of uh, the field. Or, or, you know, probably maybe for the next trailer. We'll see. But anyways, I'll bring you back with an update here in just a little bit. All right, guys, we have ourselves another full trailer here. Uh, I changed the mode of this too, to uh, A plus heading. And basically what that means is you start from where you are and then you can choose... Um, you know the degree that you want it to head so I have it set to zero degrees and that basically lets me go perfectly um, to uh, you know north and south basically uh, so the way you do that is you go into here and you do a B heading and then when you tell it to set a you can put in whatever degrees you want it uh, to go in um, so that way I, I know I'm going perfectly straight, you know, in, in terms of the cardinal direction. And I have to say too, um, I've been, um, I kind of like doing the auto steering thing too. It just, it just makes everything so much nicer. Um, I've been doing some of it with the auto steering on and then some of it myself, but, um, I kind of thought, you know, when I when I first heard about this mod and I knew that it would essentially drive the combine for you, I, it kind of turned me off a little bit because, you know, I want to drive the combine myself, but I don't know. After trying it, it's kind of nice. I'll be honest with you. I mean, look at this nice straight line <laughs> we got here. There's no way I'd be able to do that by myself unless I really, really tried hard. Uh, but anyway, you know what we're going to do, though? Um, let's actually assign a worker to this. Oh, you know what? It looks like maybe we have to turn guidance steering off. Okay. I mean, the worker, 
the worker already, you know, does a perfect job anyways, even though they're dumb as a rock otherwise. <laughs> so they don't need guide steering, but... Um, he's going to actually have a full tank here in a second anyway. Okay. So, yeah, then they're just going to sit there, but let's actually remove them so we're not paying paying for them. And we'll get in the truck here. Oop, there we go. And go drop this off in the mill and then come back and get the next load. So, so, so far we've gotten two full uh, trailer loads off of this field. So, almost 60,000 liters. And we're not going to get a full trailer load, of course, for the rest of that, but maybe... I don't know, maybe 40% more of a trailer, I'm guessing, from the rest of that. We'll see. Something like that. So if it is 40% more, then that's 60. So we'll get somewhere around 80,000 liters off this field, which is pretty nice. And, of course, all of it's going into our grain mill. But, yeah, I, I'm, I like that. I really do. I, I wasn't... I wasn't sure if I would like it, but now that I've tried it, I like it. <laughs> not going to lie, you guys. That's pretty nice. It really is. And like I said earlier, where it's really going to come in handy is, you know, when we're plowing new fields and we want to get those nice straight edges. So I'm already kind of thinking about how I'm going to use it, you know, to accomplish that. Okay, so let's go over here and get our grain dropped off. Look at all that beautiful sorghum. Very nice. Okay, so that puts our factory now up to, let's take a look. Uh, 52,000 liters so far, and it is currently uh, making sorghum flour. Our bakery is over half full with flour already, too. So yeah, that's good. Uh, so we're definitely. I'm. I'm pretty sure. Well, I. I think we're gonna at least completely fill the bakery up with flour, if not have a little surplus afterwards. And uh, it would be nice to have a little surplus afterwards because. You know, then we can, we have it, and I can either, if I decide to, I could sell it, or you know, just hang on to it so we can keep it, keep it going with the bakery, which I would probably do. It just kind of depends upon how much, you know, surplus we would actually have. But if I can keep the flour mill going 24/7, which I'm not going to be able to do right now, but maybe later on we could, you know, then we can not only keep the bakery full but then have flour to sell or you know maybe even have two bakeries i don't know we'll see that's down the road a bit though not gonna happen immediately okay so we'll get this offloaded and then get the field finished up here so yeah, I'll bring you guys back when we're completely done, and we'll take a look at the final tally of um, sorghum that we got off this field. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are just about finished here with the field, and we have we're gonna have about 60 percent ish of a final combine load really close to 60 percent all right so we can turn off guidance steering yeah that was cool i enjoyed that I'm glad we got it and we will definitely be putting it to use in the future okay well, we can turn that off so we're not going to have a, a full trailer load here but we're probably going to be just by looking at it, I'd say more than more than half. Okay, cool. 
All right, so let's take the combine back to the farm and I'll have a, a worker bring the truck over. And then we'll dump it and see what the final, final thingy is here. So let's see, grab you, set destination. And why don't you just kind of pull into here and stage right there. So yeah, that didn't take me too long. I, mean, I didn't time myself in real life. And, you know, it, we lost maybe five minutes going to get the GPS thing, but... Probably maybe took an hour-ish, something like that. Maybe a little bit more than that. I'm not really sure. But that worked out quite well. I wonder if he's going to get hung up on the shed over there. They'd like to get right up against the shed, which is weird. But no, he got past it. Okay. And then he should turn over that way. Okay, because money's kind of tight at the moment, I'm not going to repair or refuel the combine. But if you look in the lower right hand corner, you can see it's not really in too bad a shape. Um, the header is at 23% and the combine's 25%. So normally I would repair those before I put them away, but uh, this time we're just going to clean them up and put them away as they are and I'll get them fixed up later. Because I don't think we're going to be using the combine anymore this year anyway. Not, not that I can think of. There just isn't any... There aren't any um, harvesting contracts left that are worth, you know, doing. And again, 31 and 73 don't count because we've already done those. Um, oh, we're definitely going to do the fertilizing. We'll probably manure spread those. So, yeah, these other ones are just not, not really worth doing. And, and so... Okay, yeah, so let's get this cleaned up and then we'll go dump the rest of our grain and see where we're at. Okay, so we are 42% full and we have 22,000 liters in here. So, yeah, that's what actually more than half of the trailer load, which is great. Okay, and now our mill has uh, 74,181 liters. So, obviously it's been using some of this since we started. So, we probably pulled 75 to 76,000 ish or so liters off that field, so not too bad. And it filled the mill up about a quarter of the way. So, that just kind of gives you an idea of the capacity of this mill. It's huge in terms of what it can hold. And that's just for, you know, sorghum. We could also, you know, put uh, the other f three or uh, what, three? Yeah, cereal crops in there too. There's a mod that also allows you to to do like corn, you know, like cracked corn and cornmeal too. I don't think I'll do that in this series, but, you know, maybe down the road or something, we could do something like that. Okay, so same thing here. We're not going to repair the man or the trailer. They're in actually really good shape anyways. Uh, we'll just clean them up and or no actually you know what I'm not going to clean these up because we're going to use these for the potato harvest so I'm not going to use the smaller trailer or the little tractor we'll use the big boys so let's get um, this out to field 25 I'll have a worker take it out there and then we'll drive the harvester out Okay, so set destination. You go just stage right here is good enough for now. And let's grab this. Like I said, we're not going to use that tractor or little trailer, at least not right now. Um, I might grab them later if, if, if I can't keep up, you know, with just the one trailer. We'll just see how things go. 
Uh, and I think everything is going to Johnson's too, which is great because Johnson's is really close to field 53. Uh, we are working on this one here. Yeah, Johnson's very nice. Okay, let's get this out to the field, get started with some spuds. This is going to take a little while, but I need the money. <laughs> Okay, so for this field, I guess we could just go on the Cardinals. Uh, so we would be going east-west if we follow this direction. Um, all right, so let's do this then. We'll start over here. Let's get this thing unfolded too. That is so cool looking, man. I love it. <laughs> this machine's awesome. Just needs a bigger header is all. Amazing. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, so let's do this. Um. The first couple of passes are going to be really short, but they'll get wider as we get into the field. Okay, so we'll do, let's see. Uh, control C, no, not Control C. Control. All right, how do I turn that doggone thing on again? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, Alt C, okay. Okay, and then control S. So we want to do a A plus heading. And we want to save this as 25. Failed to save track, please create. Oh yeah, okay, we gotta set it up first. Okay, so set A, and we want this to go um, uh, 90 degrees. So set cardinal. And now can we save it? Yep. Okay. So that's field 25. And I think... We're good. Oh. If we do auto width, I think if we just do alt R... Yep. That sets auto width, which is nice because then it sets it to the width of the header. There's no guesswork involved there. Okay, let's turn this beast on. Yeah, this is going to take a while. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um. Okay, yeah. Man, oh man, this is going to take a long time. <laughs> this header is so small. What the heck, man? I don't have enough money, I don't think, to lease a larger one. Okay, uh... Let's do this. Let's get, um... Let's get a worker going on this, and let's just look at the possibility of leasing a larger header. I don't think we're going to have enough money, really, to do that, but... Oh, actually, hold on. We want to turn guidance steering off, and instead have a worker do it. What the heck are you doing, lady? I had you lined up. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at uh, potato technology. Okay, so this header is three meters. Uh, 
Oh, wait a minute. Is that a header? What's this? This is just a topper. That's all that does. Okay. Um, is there not a larger header available? Headers. Those are all green headers. Potato technology, beet technology. So that's three meters wide. These machines are used to seed crops like wheat, barley, or canola. Wait, what? Those are seeders? This harvester digs potatoes out of the ground. It's got a one and a half meter, and that's got a one and a half meter. So those are really bad, I mean, in terms of their width. Uh, okay, so we are currently working with the Grim, which has a... Doesn't even tell us how wide it is. So it's it must have... See, I don't, I don't see that header anywhere, though. Um. If we go back to potato technology, that header that's on this machine doesn't show up. So it must be built into the machine. It just doesn't tell us what the width of it is, though. And this, the worker's not utilizing its full width, either. Huh. Okay, well, I guess, um... I guess I'll probably end up just doing this then because I should be able to at least get five rows at a time. It, the worker's only doing four. It's just, it's already going to take long enough as it is. Yeah, get out of there, you dummy. Yeah, see, we can get five rows at a time. Okay, well, I'm going to be here a while. <laughs> but we'll make $20,000 when it's all said and done. Um, so I think uh, we're going to wrap up this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. It was awesome, you know, for us to be able to harvest our first big field. We got lots of grain out of the deal. It was nice. Uh, we tried out the GPS mod, and I really like it. And um, so, and then, you know, we ended the episode, of course, here with a little bit of potato harvesting. And so, yeah, uh, let's see. Next month is September. And I believe that is September. Yeah, September. I think that's going to be our third hay cutting on our own farm. So we'll have that coming up. Um, whatever other contracts come up, uh, probably going to be some more fertilizing, maybe some cultivating contracts. And uh, so we'll work on that. And um, I will bring you back. We'll probably start the next episode. Oh, you're only doing four. What the heck, man? Anyway, um, we'll probably start the next episode at the end of August. We'll do the end of, end of the month update as usual and then go from there. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye. i got a lot of potatoes to harvest here.